2020 came in with a, a blast. Can you all believe what we're living through right now? Harvard just announced that they expect another 100,000 Americans to die between now and September. Another 100,000. While all that's going on, we got to deal with the protests, racism, police brutality. And I'm wondering, can you all be with someone during a time in history like this that is not down with the protests? I couldn't. There's no way. It's so much on my mind on a daily basis. I need to be able to release this. I need to be able to let some of this stuff that's on my mind out. I need to be able to talk to my partner and say, hey, baby, you check out what happened in the news today? You hear about what happened with George Floyd? You hear about what happened with the other young man, Javier Ambler? You all hear about this crazy case in Austin, Texas? Pulled over for not turning on his, uh, turning down his high beam lights. They pulled him over, the cops did, in Austin, Texas. And when they pulled him over, they had a TV crew in the back, right? Like one of those cop shows. And so you know the cops wanted to show off, right? So they jump out. The man has his hairs up. Javier does. He tells him that he can't breathe. Now, first of all, why are you asking a guy to get down to be arrested and all he, he just had on his high beam lights? Come on, man. Come on. Steps get more ridiculous every single day. Try not to curse. My point is that with all these things that are going on, we need partners who we can talk to, who will empathize with us, who can understand what we're, what we're feeling, man, and talk to us about who care about the things that we care about. Now, I do understand this is a different issue. You know, when you're already in a relationship with somebody, you already got kids, you already got a... You already got a mortgage. I don't know whether or not you have the option to leave or not, or whether or not you would leave over something like this. I don't know. But I know right now when it comes to choosing a woman, there's no way in the world I can be with a woman who's not down with this. There's no way I could find myself spending time with someone who doesn't want to talk about this too. Yeah, we got other things going on, business, kids, whatever else is going on in your life, right? But we got to be able to talk about this. Oh, we're going to talk about this. Otherwise, I'm going to find somebody I can talk to it about, too. And I don't know if you all feel the same way, whether or not it's a deal breaker for you. How do you all define compatibility? How do you define it? You know, for me, being able to talk to my partner about what's going on right now is essential. Not just because of what I do. You know, my mind, this is my mindset. My mindset is to be Engage. My mindset is to be responsible. My mindset is to try to help. And so I'm wondering for those of you all out there who may be in relationships, what is that like? I'm not talking about co-workers like we did yesterday. I'm talking about your man or fellas, your woman. Look at all the news that's going on, man. I got, I got five pages of news. And when this show is over, anybody that's dating Michael Baisden, we're going to talk about this. I guarantee you, we're going to have a conversation. How could I be with you if I can? Call me up right now, 855-962-7469. Michael Bays, and how you doing? Who's this? Britannia. Did you say Britannia? How you doing? How you doing, Britannia? How's everything? Everything is good. So we're living in history right now. We're living history as we speak. A lot of folks who say mm-hmm. back in the day, man, if I could have been there in the 60s, Britannica, you hear people say that all the time, man, if I was back there in the 60s, well, uh-huh. here we are, Britannica. And I need to know I got a woman who's yeah. down with the cause. I don't care if you got a big afro or not. I need you to be down with this cause, Britannica, if we're going to date. Talk to me. It's Latan. And what else could you even talk about right now if you're not talking about what's going on in the world? What does that say to you about There's a man if he's not talk talking about. about that? What does that say about him? That's, that's saying that he's not in tune. Mm-hmm. He's not in tune at all. You got to be in tune with what's going on from the pandemic to the president, mm-hmm. to the protest, to the black men being murdered. You got to be in tune. I mean, everything is everything is happening so fast. Yes. You can't even keep up. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, and, it's a lot going on. So if this is the only thing you should be talking about, I really. Know, I know. You know, you did say Latania, <laughs> right? the only right? thing to talk about. Because I done yeah, your name Latania. up. It's Latania. Okay. <laughs> your mama should have called you LT. Yeah. Okay, Latania, when you say in tune, uh-huh. I agree with you 100%. And imagine, you know, people are meeting new people all the time. We're always meeting new people. So I wonder if you met a dude and you picked up the mm-hmm. phone, you know, you all get on the finally get on the phone and call and talk to each other. Hey, how you doing? You get past the kind of the preliminaries. What do you do? You got a man, whatever. Right. And then you mm-hmm. say to him, say, hey, you've been, you know, checking out what's been happening with the George Floyd case. What do we say? Well, you know, I, you know, I check it out sometimes. You know, I'm getting tired of that news. What, what is your response to that? I'll be like, what? So you not you don't know what's going on. You're not in tune with what's going on. You don't care how fine you don't care was, how fine he is. You don't care. Oh no, looks don't matter when it comes to that. Why not? It looks don't matter at all because it's about the mental capacity and what they're taking in. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't. How can you even have a relationship if you're not in tune with what's going on in the world? You can't. Especially this. I mean, this is as big as it gets. And I, the reason why I raise it don't get this, no bigger than it, it does not. This is it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I feel like I'm living. I don't know what I'm living in. Like this is it. Every day I'm tuned into the news and because not, every day is something new. And I'm not saying we can't have conversation about other things, man. But there's nothing more important than this. So to all the ladies out there, thank you, uh, Latania. Jacked up your name several times. I appreciate you calling in. I got my girl Chiquita on the line. Where you calling from, Chiquita? Long Island, New York. Strong Island. How's everything? It's hectic. Yeah, it is. You know, that's really interesting. You called him from New York. I can't imagine anybody from New York going through what you all have gone through. You meet a dude, he has no interest in this after how you all got hit. Everything matters in New York. Talk to me. I couldn't really relate to any man who is not in tune with what's going on, especially in progressive Long Island, mm-hmm. we've learned is not as progressive as we all thought. Check that out. And so when we talk about some of the things that are going on. I'm sure maybe you have and haven't heard about Javier Ambler, uh, the gentleman in Austin, Texas, who died. They pulled him over for not turning down his headlights. They had the TV crew in the back, Chiquita. They had the TV crew in the back, like the cops TV. They had him in the back, and they jump out. Of course, they pulled this guy over for not turning down his high beam lights. The man puts his hands up. Javier puts his hands up. They asked him to get down and hand. Why are you handcuffing him for, for having high beam lights on? And I've noticed ma- something. I've noticed that there's a uh, police tactic of totally humiliating black people. They want to they want to put us on the ground. They want to s- squeeze and push our faces into the dirt mm-hmm. with handcuffs on. It's a bit much, and I'm trying to understand what is it that the police are doing. I I would be appalled to see any one of the men that I love face down, in the dirt, unresponsive, and the police are not trying to help him. And that's something, and in this story, that's why I want to talk to you about the news because you need to be able to talk to your man about the news. I need to be able to talk to my woman about the news. And yes, it's a deal breaker if I can. So yeah, baby, I need to talk to you about Javier. I need you to talk to you about the fact that he died because he didn't have his, he didn't turn his high beam lights down. Jaquita, I need to be able to come home and talk to my woman about that. That's right. Thank you for calling in, sister. I'm glad that you we're on the same page. I'm glad that we're both tuned in. Hey, family, I, I appreciate you all tuning in every day. There's so much going on right now. There's a lot happening. There's more black men dying every day. It's like, damn. I'll be honest with you, man. When I got to produce this show every day, I'm like, damn. Again? It's frustrating. It's exhausting. But I don't let it tire me out, man. I I make it energizing so I can come on and talk to you guys and make sure I broadcast it on all the stations I'm on on radio so we can stay abreast of what's happening. But when I leave this show, there's no way in the world I could deal with a woman who don't want to hear about it. I'm trying to talk to her about what's on my mind, all the things that's bothered me about George Floyd, about this other brother. Man, did you all hear about this guy? I'm telling this is a sad case of Javier Ambler. You all watch the news, you all hear about it. Pulled over for not turning down his high beams. He's dead because he didn't turn down his high beam lights. What the? And then the cops had a TV crew in the back. Like the, It wasn't a cops TV show, but it was a similar show. So you know they were trying to act all hard for the cameras. This man is dead for not turning down his freaking high beams. 
I need to be able to come home and talk to my woman about all this that's on my mind. Trump is getting ready to start campaigning again. And he chose Tulsa, Oklahoma as the first city. Thank you. The universe is something else. Because while he's down there in Tulsa, we're going to make sure that the news is talking about Black Wall Street and all those hundreds, if not thousands of blacks that were massacred because whites, those whites could not stand to see them being prosperous. Don't tell us to pick ourselves up by our bootstraps and then we do it, you kill us. That's happened throughout this country's history. If you all don't know the story of Black Wall Street, you need to Google it, go to YouTube and find out what's going on with our history, man. We would have, we're hundreds of years behind where we should be. Not because of us, but because of racism. Come back with your calls. This is the Michael Bayston Show. Family, I'm going to let you all get back to your families. Thank you all so much for tuning in. We got a lot of work to do. There's so much going on. Every day there's a new story. Every day there's new stories. I'm going to stay strong. I'm going to stay diligent. I'm going to stay relentless. And I need you all to do the same thing. One final thought before I go. And maybe I'll let you all call on this one. You know, we call each other kings and queens all the time. You know, I see you all posting, hey, queens, hey, kings, I'm a queen, I'm a king. All right. Here's your chance. Where you at, king? Where you at, queen? You know, we use a lot of language, man, to pump ourselves up, to to build up our self-esteem. But when it's time to act, I want you all to put that king and queen into motion. We need leaders right now. And a lot of y'all used to talk all that mess, man. Now, back there in the 60s, I wouldn't take none of that. <laughs> all right. Here we are. What's up? We are in the moment right now. We are living an incredible time in history that sometimes I don't even think we fully can absorb because there's so much stuff going on all the time. If you just realize everything that's happening with the pandemic, 40 million people out of work, the protests going on, white supremacy, white supremacy. Understand it's deeper than just racism, it's white supremacy. If you really digest what that's all about, man, in terms of people completely determined that you have nothing, that you have no power, no matter what you do, they're going to change the rules in the middle of the game or do what they're doing now. And some of them are killing us because they know our power. Do you all know that they know how strong we are as a people? Do you all know that many of them know about Black Wall Street, how resourceful we are? They know how beautiful we are. A lot of people are afraid of us. They're afraid of what we can do, and they believe that if we ever get power, we're going to do to them what they did to us. That was a fear in South Africa with apartheid. They were afraid that once blacks got power, they would treat them the way they treated the blacks. And that didn't happen. We don't want to rule anybody. We don't want to dominate anybody. We just want to be free to be prosperous without being prejudiced, without being killed. We don't want to be prejudged. We don't want to die. And we don't want systems in place keeping us from getting where we want to go. We all work our asses off. And many of us are not where we should be. How is Rush Limbaugh and Sean Hannity on a thousand stations? And we got to work hard to get on 20 or 30. That's white supremacy. Why do we have no black networks? None. It's white supremacy. You all better keep that in mind when you all are choosing your partners, choosing somebody to get down with, choosing somebody to even spend your time with. Time is important. If I'm going to invest my time into a woman at this stage in my life, just my mindset, period, requires a woman who's conscious, right? But for now, especially now, she's got to be more than conscious. She's got to be a warrior, a real one, a real queen, a real king is what you all need right now, a real leader. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. Enjoy your night. I'll see you guys on the radio tomorrow and on Bays and at the Dark right here on Facebook. Have a good night, family.